Hi, we're looking at a Barnes & Noble color nook. This uh, nook happens to be modified where you can use it with the uh, stock operating system from Barnes & Noble. You could also run a regular plain old Android operating system which I installed via the SD card slot. Uh, if you're asking why you should do both, it's very simple. Uh, the Barnes & Noble nook the way it comes, it comes with a uh, stripped down Android operating system. It's a custom uh, operating system for Barnes & Noble. It does not give you the regular Google Store, Play Store, where you can uh, download and install apps. It will not allow you to install most apps. Also, it is um, stripped down for the internet where it will not let you go to a lot of sites. So that's why people want to run regular Android so they can do what they want to do. And what's nice about it is, you take the SD card out, it goes right back to the Nook uh, Barnes Noble stock operating system. So we're going to take a look at this real quick here. Uh, it's on, it's on standby. Boom, I turned it on. There's the desktop and um, there's the option menu. You can see right there. Um, I'll open up a browser. There's uh, Google. And uh, let's see what else we could do here. Uh, it works off Wi Fi. So there's no, um, let me turn this light off here so we get a little bit better picture. There is no um, data charges, no phone charges. It's just uh, uses Wi-Fi from your house or coffee shop or wherever you're at. Uh, let's take a look again here. Please ignore the reflection right here. That's from the light overhead. Um, there's the desktop again. I'm going to try to go sideways. I'm not sure if it's going to work too well, but uh, see the desktop see the Google search bar and to show you what apps are here there's all the apps that are installed the stock apps um, let's see what else we can do okay let's go here it's kind of hard for me to do both things at the same time so you gotta forgive me about that okay um, let's go to settings there's all the settings where you can set everything up, wireless networks, um, signage and mod settings, so you can uh, do the, the Android settings. Um, let's go in here just to show that there is a submenu. Tablet tweak system. Uh, it just shows that it's signage and um, Android version 7. It's a little hard to get a close up here. Uh, Okay, I'll tell you what, let's uh, go back here. There's the desktop again. This is the box. Well, I'm showing you the box. What I'm going to do is, the way you shut down or you restart is, there's a side button. And you click reboot or power off. We're going to do reboot. It's asking you, do you want to reboot? Yes, okay. And it says rebooting tablet. So while it's doing that, I'll show you this. Um, okay, well, since it's rebooting that quickly, just to show you the splash screen, Cyanogen, loading. Remember, it's loading itself up from the SD card. There's an eight gigabyte SD card in there. Let's do an that, I'm going to show you the box. Here's the original box for it. Original paperwork, the silica gel, the original packaging that the item came in, the original plastic inserts. Okay, that's booting up. Again, there's the original box comes with the USB cable. The USB cable special for, for uh, the Barnes & Noble Nook. And there we go, it rebooted itself. So again, to turn this thing on and off, the switch right here on the side. If it's at a dead standstill where it's off, you gotta press it up to 10 seconds. Oh, by the way, it also works in landscape mode, as you can see when the landscape mode. Okay, and get it to work in landscape mode again I'm single-handed or there we go it went back into portrait mode so it will go both ways there we go um, 
Again, this this is a special cord. It lets you charge the uh, tablet twice as fast as regular because it's got double pins. And it's got the wall adapter. If you try to charge it via a computer port, it will take many, many, many hours. With this thing, it usually takes about two, three hours at the most. Um, so that's basically it. It goes into standby after a while. To get out of standby, you press it. So the next video I'm going to show is going to be the stock Barnes & Noble operating system. Whoever buys the item, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to do a master reset on it. So when you get it, you're going to have to register your account to the item. And again, you can run either or if you put the SD card in, which the SD card is right here. right there that's where the whole operating system is running from and again this is real nice there's the screens nice the back the back is nice so let's go ahead and we're going to shut this down for now and in the next video we'll show the stock operating system whoever buys it, it's going to do a master reset you got to register it with your account thank you